Alright guys, once again, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. And today we're going to be looking at another Transformer, as you can see here by the box. Very basic box here for the War of Cybertron, and this one is Ramjet. Now, as you can see, I did pay 30 bucks for him at my local GameStop store, which I didn't mind because I saw him and I thought he was pretty cool, so I wanted to get him. But once again, let's take a quick look at the box, which is basically nothing extravagant just a simple brown box with some details and some legal mumbo jumbo no depictions of actually how the figure looks so you would have to either search it online or hope that the box is open at the store in order to see what the figure looks like but guys we already know what it looks like so let's go ahead open the box and let's take a look at the figure himself all right guys so here he is out of the box and I am really liking this color scheme as from what I understand this is the generation 2 color scheme for Ramjet but let's go ahead and let's get a quick closer look at him for some better details if my camera acts right there we go as you can see the head scope is nicely done once again like all the seekers in this toy line he's got lots of detail going up and down him all the way around very nicely done and once again this is an awesome paint scheme for him i never knew that the g2 ramjet had this paint scheme i was never really into transformers when the generation 2 came out i guess you could say i got a little bit older kind of moved on but i'm really liking this it looks really cool it's nicely done as you can see pretty much not much to him a few modifications but he's pretty much like every other seeker in this toy line all right, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the articulation. As you can see here, his head's on a ball joint, so he can't go up and down. And he can go left to right with a little bit of weevil wobble there. Very nicely done. Now at the shoulders, he can go out 90 degrees, as you can see there. Nice clearance. And he can go 360 rotation as well. Now as you can see with the arms, it does go past a little bit past 90 degrees, as you can see there. Hopefully um, the camera shows it. He can go a little bit past, and it has elbow rotation as well. Now, he doesn't have any rotation in the wrist, but that's like all Seekers. And he doesn't have any hip rotation, but if you move the, leg, the flap right there up, you can move his leg up a little bit further. This is about as far forward as you can push his leg, as you can see right there. And then, as always, with the Seekers, you can see he's got a little bit of a hollow gap there. And pretty much that's as far back as he can go. Now, once again, as all you can see, he does have a thigh rotation as well. And at the knees, he can go past 90 degrees, as you can see here. Pretty much good for some for some poses with them. Now, like all seekers, his toes do go down as part of the transformation. And he does have a little bit of an ankle tiltage there, as you can see here. Once again, a very nice figure, and as you can see along the arms, he does have his blasters that go alongside the arms as all seekers. Once again, a very cool figure, and as you can see there, I'm really, really liking this paint scheme. But guys, let's go ahead, let's transform him, and let's check out his alt mode. The Transformers will return after these messages. All right, guys, so those of you who are in the Nerdvana group know that we are doing a giveaway for the month of May. And these are the prizes here. Now, as you can see up in the front, we got a lot of 3D printed items. Those are actually going to be door prizes for the announcement of the giveaway on May 31st at 8 o'clock Central Time. Now, in order to get some of these 3D printed prizes, you actually have to be in the live feed when we're doing the live, the announcements for the winners. I will pick people at random, and I'll be mailing out this stuff to you guys just like before. You guys don't pay a dime. I cover all the costs, and I will ship this stuff out to you guys. Once again, really cool. So, guys, 
let's go ahead let's check out the 3d stuff and then let's check out the prizes we're going to be giving away at the end of the month all right guys so let's go ahead and let's check out some of these door prizes here we have a core class scale base for an Incepticon, which is really cool really nice this printer has been doing some really nice work i actually have two of those so two people will be able to walk away with those these are just door prizes right here as we're going through first once again really nice let's go ahead and i'll i do have a larger one that i printed up it's the same design i just scaled it up a little bit as you can see here really cool looking now it does have a little bit of the plastic strands there as it just came off the printer so i'm gonna have to clean it up before i send it out to you guys but once again a really cool display right there here we have one and it's the only one i'm gonna be able to print up as i don't have any more of this translucent red this is in core class scale autobot base display once again really cool this is the first thing I actually printed on my printer. So guys, that's really cool right there to check out for you guys right here. Now I also printed out from the Beast Wars, the golden disc as you can see here. Really cool, but it did kind of mess up in the back. I'll put it out there if anybody wants it. I'll put it out as a door prize. Once again, really cool my first attempt on doing that. Now let's go over here. This is a weird design I actually found on Thingiverse. It is a bin storage bin based on the Autobot base design so you can see there's orange with the prints and I put it together for you guys so it's actually pretty cool now I'm actually using a line of solder to hold the door on once you guys get it you guys can get a long screw or bar whatever it is you want to do I'm just doing that so you guys can see the display right there now let's move on to the next door prize here's something I thought was pretty cool and I actually printed out me one as well it is the medical bay for the Autobot base, as you can see here, you can actually tilt it up and down. It's kind of loose, so you guys might want to put something there to kind of stiffen it up, so this way you can actually tilt it and it'll actually hold. Once I figure out how to get it to hold stiff on mine, I'll let you guys know. Once again, another really cool design right there. Now coming up to, we have this 3D printed Teletran 1 right here, which once again, I think is pretty cool. I was gonna paint it, but I'm not that good at painting and maybe you guys want to customize it some way you some way you guys would like to do it that's fine I did find some prints of, of the screens that you can actually put on there I'm gonna try to see if I can put that along with this hopefully I'll get it done in time and this way you can have some decals to put on there which will be really cool now another the last of the door prizes we have here is one of the first thrones and one of the first big prints I've actually printed on my 3d printer which is this big humongous Decepticon throne right here this thing is monstrous now if you guys are on the nerd Vana channel you guys see me when I actually printed this out I actually sat Starscream in it and Starscream looked like a child with his feet swinging not really sure what size figure can actually go in this maybe leader class maybe Titan I don't know I have a I have a combiner devastator I haven't tried putting him in yet but maybe he might fit in it who knows but I'm giving this away as well as another door prize but guys let's go ahead and let's get to the actual toys they're gonna be given away on May 31st since nobody claimed it last giveaway we actually have again the Hot Wheels He-Man Masters of the Universe car collection along with some figures to go along with it as you can see here you can see you got some little posed up Masters of the Universe figures there you get five of them there and you get a set a five Hot Wheels Masters of the Universe themed cars now I am going to try to see if I can 3D print a Castle Grayskull to go along with this set so you can display it really cool. Hopefully I'll get it done in time. But as you can see here, each car is themed after a different character in Masters of the Universe. Once again, really cool. Now another prize we're going to be giving away. Here we have a Legacy Core Class Hot Rod. A lot of people like this figure. I actually got one, haven't had a chance to do a uh, review on him yet. He's still in the box, sitting in the corner waiting for his chance to shine but as you can see here really cool looking he comes with a sword he looks really nice hopefully somebody's gonna win him on the 31st as well now this is one that a lot of people were actually excited about when i found out that i was going to be giving away one of these this here is a legacy blaster now this blaster is just like the war for cybertron one he does come with a minifig of eject that goes in his chest really cool i actually like the, the box designs on these legacy class figures you can see all the details on the back here i got myself one now the one i picked up for the contest actually came damaged but since i had one sitting in the shelf waiting to be reviewed in a pristine box i decided to give that one up and i'll take the damaged box since i'm going to open it up anyway so it doesn't matter to me 
Now, guys, next one we got up here is Bulkhead. Now, this Bulkhead, at first, really, I didn't really like him because I am a Transformers Prime fan. I like that Bulkhead. I actually got the first edition one. It looks really cool on my shelf. You guys seen the video of him. So when this one came out, I wasn't too impressed. But the more and more I see him on Facebook, the more and more he's kind of growing on me. So I might just pick me up one of these guys. Now, as you can see, the box is crushed in a little bit in the corner here. There's nothing I could do about that as he was the last one on the shelf at my local Target. So, guys, I'm hoping you actually take him out of the box and put him on the display instead of just leaving him in there. Toys in the box are a waste. It's such a waste. You guys got to take these toys out, put them on the shelf, display them, or actually utilize them. Now, the last prize we're going to be giving away here, we gave away one of these last giveaway. It is the sound wave from the Bumblebee movie. Everybody likes these figures. Everybody's going crazy for all the Bumblebee figures. So I found another one of these, and I thought it would be cool to give away another one since a lot of people actually wanted to, a chance to win this. So I'm giving away another one. And like before, I'm going to be giving away the Ravage figure along with it. This thing is really cool. You know, somebody's actually showing me they're trying to do a Tumblr Batmobile style transformation with this. I'm going to actually buy one and try to do it myself and see what it comes up like. If I'll let you guys know. But once again, it comes with a rumble. This one is another prize. These two do come together, guys. Guys, I hope you know have a chance to win all these figures. Make sure you're at the live stream on the 31st so you have a chance to win some door prizes. You get a chance to win the prizes here. Up in the top right corner here, I'm going to post up the video of where you can go to actually enter the contest. You go to that video, go down to the comment section, and leave a comment. Leave a decent comment. Don't just leave a one word or one letter comment because I will reject those. But if you leave a decent comment, tell me if you like the throne, if you like Blaster, if you like Soundwave, what figures you like, what 3D prints you like. I will leave a check mark. When I leave a check mark on your comment, that means your comment is entered as a raffle ticket for a chance to win one of these prizes. So guys, leave as many comments as you want on that video. And once again, the rules are one prize per person, door prizes, doesn't matter. You can win as many as come up. You have to live in Canada, United States, or Mexico in order to win and be eligible for the prizes as that's the only place I'm able to ship. In order to enter the contest, you have to be a member of Nerdvana's Facebook group, and you have to subscribe to the Sergeant Geek YouTube channel. Once you do those, you guys are eligible to win any of these prizes. Go ahead and leave the comments down there, and guys, I hope you win. Now let's get back to your regularly broadcast picture. We now return to the Transformers. All right, guys, so here he is in his alt mode which of course is some sort of jet. But if you're wondering what type of jet actually is Ramjet, he's kind of a crossbreed in my opinion. He kind of looks like a prototype F-16 XL crossed over with an SR-71 Blackbird. That's pretty much what he looks like to me. Like they took the features of both those jets, the Delta wing off the F-16 XL and the engine thrust engines from the SR-71 and combine them with a F-16 fuselage and you get Ramjet. It's still a pretty cool plane to me. It's not one that you see in the sky, but I kind of like it. So guys, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at him. And you guys should be able to notice that it's pretty much like every other seeker once again. In this toy line, as you can see here, he's got Ramjet written on the side. And there you go. You can see his big SR-71 thrusters right there. And then he's got his feet as the thrusters too, like a F-22 type thrusters there. So he's got four thrusters in the back. And very nicely done with the color schemes here with the blue, purple, and black. Very nicely done. But then here you go towards the front. Once again, you got the inlets for an F-16 up front here, which makes him a very weird looking plane. But nevertheless, he is a, still a cool looking weird plane. Now let's get a view from the top. This is him from the top right here. And here he is from the bottom. Let's flip it over. Pretty much like I said, like every other seeker, but once again, nevertheless, still a very cool figure. And I'm actually glad that I was able to pick him up. He is a different variant on the seekers. And that's why I like to have different styles of different modes. 
But guys, that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. All right, guys. So once again, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Toy Collector Review. Once again, is this something that I recommend purchasing? Yes, I do. If you don't have any of these seekers or if you're like me, you like to have the different variants on different molds. I like this one. And plus, I've never had any of the G2 uh, color schemes of the Transformers. So he's actually my very first G2 color scheme. And I do like it a lot. Looks really cool. He's going to look really nice on the shelf, I believe. And he's going to look awesome against the other seekers that I have on my shelf. So we're going to see how that looks pretty soon here once I get him off this turntable and put him up there. But he is a cool toy. If you do have any of the seekers and you do like the mold, then I do recommend getting him and picking him up. He is a cool one. And once again, guys, as always, it comes to that point. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a member of this channel. Hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put out a new video. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. Let's get the word out. And guys, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, go ahead and smash that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you guys who are watching this on Rumble, go ahead and smash that Rumble button. And guys, if there's anything in particular you would like to see done on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below, and I will do my best to try to get that out there for you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek, and I'm signing off.